subscribe if you enjoy the video. Valheim is a game played by many in a variety of different ways, and learning from your experiences is half the fun, but there are some things that nearly all players can agree on after a certain point. So here are 7 unspoken rules of Valheim that pretty much every Viking follows. Rule number 1, Spare Portal. Going on an adventure far from base can turn into a long journey, but the worst part is always the trip back, especially if not transporting any metals. Solution? The spare portal. Keep an unconnected portal at your base in reserve before leaving, and bring the materials needed to build a second portal along with you. Now, if you ever need to rest up during the trip, place down the portal and sleep right at home. Need to clear inventory space? Drop stuff off at home. Need to repair your gear? Portal back home. Rule number two, map markers. Underutilized by some of the early game, marking stuff on the map is extremely helpful in the long run. Not only are they useful for marking bases, but use them to mark resources such as metal deposits and berry bushes for future reference. Mark cave and crypt entrances and not just for future endeavors, but to know which ones you've already visited so you're not second guessing yourself a couple weeks later. Rule number 3, staying rested. I'm sure everyone has experienced it at least once, going into dangerous territory without being rested, getting stuck, unable to jump, or simply not fast enough to get away, and you die. So making sure you're rested for these scenarios is a rule to live by in the world of Valheim. Literally, it will keep you alive. Rule number 4, spare meads. Keeping spare meads at base is solely a precaution, but it could save you a lot of hassle long term. A prime example would be in the mountains. If you ever end up dying in the freezing cold biome with all your gear, having no extra wolf capes or meads would mean for a very difficult trip back towards your gear. One that may even be unattainable. Rule number 5, see it, pick it. Blue goblins should have no trouble with this one, but it's something that's overlooked by many, especially in the early game. When running around exploring or traveling, if you happen to see any berries, plants, flints, or other raw materials, pick them up. Even if you don't need them now, you're almost guaranteed to be needing more at some point in the future. So you'll save yourself time getting them now, rather than searching later. Rule number 6, move boars before taming. One that I learned the hard way, you should try to move your boars to the location you like to keep them while they're wild and not yet tamed. Boars that are already domesticated will not chase you around, making it hard to lead them towards your base. In addition to that, tamed boars, if startled by another creature during transport, will run away and... and run away, and run away. If you really need to transport tamed boars, make an enclosed pathway to do so, and slowly section off parts behind them to quote unquote save a checkpoint for progress. Rule number seven, sailing necessities. Last on this list, the absolute must have tool that any Viking should have on them when sailing the seas, the hammer and workbench. A boat ride in Valheim is never plain sailing. You're bound to hit a rock, scrape shell surfaces, or get attacked by creatures lingering along the coast. All this combined can cause a lot of harm to your boat, and if you're not carrying around a hammer for repairs, then your ship's life might come to an end a lot sooner than expected, dumping you and any precious cargo you may be transporting right into the sea. By having a hammer on deck, you'll constantly be able to check your boat's health, and when the time comes to repair, dock near some land, place down a workbench, and your boat will be looking as good as new. So there you have it, my 7 unspoken rules of Valheim that I think every viking ends up following at one point or another. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment letting us know any other hidden rules that you follow in the realm of Valheim. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.